Hey guys, Davin here from Brubits.com. Behind the camera as usual, we've got James. Say hello, James. So, a little while back, uh, I made this Young's Harvest Cider, which is a new cider kit in their range. And I said to you once I'd made it and it'd been in the bottle for a little while, I would come back and uh, yeah, I'll try it out. So it's been in the bottle now for just over a month and they've got a nice fizz to them. And a good smell of cider as soon as you pop the lid. Very clear, very light in colour. And remember we didn't add anything else to it, we did as the instructions said. Ooh, I'm just going to get to that a little bit and I'm going to catch it before we get any sediment in the bottom. So we're always going to lose a little bit of sediment in the bottom. That's if you want it really nice and clear. Look at that, that is lovely and clear. Okay, sorry James, I whipped it away from you. That is lovely and clear. <laughs> hey, so yeah, it's got a lovely cidery smell, very light, but nice and gentle, happily. Okay, it's dry. We've not added any sweeteners to it or anything like that. It's got a nice little gentle appliness to it. It's got a lovely fizz. It's also got a nice dryness to it, a subtle sweetness in the background. That to me it is tasting very much like um, a strongbow um, or even even going back a few years to a dry blackthorn cider. It's nice. I think next time I try it, I'm gonna try a double can version of it using two cans of cider and no extra sugar. See how that comes out. I might even, next time I do it after that, I might make one up and add some uh, apple juice in the cartons from the supermarket and see how that comes out. But that, it's not bad, quite simple, quite easy drinking, quite light, fizzy, cold and refreshing cider. So yeah, cheers. Enjoy.